The Screaming Skull is a motion picture that reaches its climax in shocking horror. Its impact is so terrifying that it may have an unforeseen effect. It may kill you. Mickey keeps his gardening things. Who's Mickey? The gardener. He's kept it up the two years I've been away. All by himself? That's right. He must work awfully hard. Oh, he and Marion would spend hours on end working here in the gardens. And up in the greenhouse back there. See, he loved her very much. Sometimes I used to wonder who she was. My wife or Mickey's nursemaid. Eric! I see Eric. Oh. Please stop by to meet your new wife. Oh, Eric, this is a wonderful surprise. It's been a long time. It has. Reverend, good to see you, Eric. Jenny, this is Mrs. Snow. I'm very happy to meet you. Jenny, this is a lovely surprise. And the Reverend Mr. Snow. Hello, my dear. Oh, she's sweet, Eric. I know. Ah, oh, poor Mickey. He keeps this place up like a shrine. Eric told me how he loved Marion. Mickey's father was a gardener here when Marion's mother was alive. Mickey and Marion grew up together here. Jenny, this is Mickey. How do you do, Mickey? I hope we'll be good friends. Well, Mickey. Well, shall we all go inside? That's a good idea. Mickey, remember you promised me some of those rose cuttings. Nice seeing you again, Mickey. I'm going to have to get you down to the barber shop one day very soon. Excuse us, Mickey. How did Marion die? Didn't Eric tell you? I think the subject's rather painful to him. I would like to make him talk about it. Would you mind telling me? I'd like to know. It was a rainy day. She and Mickey had been working up there in the greenhouse. She left him to go back to the house for a few minutes. The way we pieced it together after the accident is that while she was coming down this path, apparently it began to rain very hard. She must have run along here. We don't know, of course, what happened then. Perhaps she slipped on a leaf. The base of her skull was smashed. It was thought that she hit her head on the edge of the cement wall where we're sitting. And she fell in there. She died in the water. That's where Eric found her ten minutes later. Marion. Marion. You said... You 
you said, Mickey, wait here. I'm going down to the house for just a minute. Wait here, Mickey, you said. And then you went away in the rain. And you didn't come back to play. Man, what? How are the cots? Fine. What are you reading? Something Mrs. Snow sent over. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's called Beast in the Jungle. It's all about a man who waited all of his life for something great and wonderful to happen to him. He had only one good friend. It's a woman whom he confided. And she died. At her grave, he suddenly realized that she was the great and wonderful thing that he'd waited for all of his life. But it was too late then. And his memories, like a beast in the jungle, Rise up out of the past. Overwhelm him. Oh, poor fellow. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know what he missed. Mickey caused this. You may as well know. He does look for Marion night after night down by that pond. And he probably comes here afterwards. I'm going to speak to Mickey in the morning. Now, don't you see? How simply it's all explained away.
night. Hello, Mickey. Oh, look out. You almost cut him. He's a handsome one, isn't he? So cuddly and warm. When I was a little girl, I used to want to be a caterpillar. So I was a very little girl. There you go. Marion must have loved her gardens. We'll keep them lovely for her always. You know what I'd like to do, Mickey? I'd like to pick some of the nicest flowers and take them to her. Would you like that? Yes. Eric told me she was near here. Would you show me where? It was a great loss to all of you, Mickey. She cries. Cries? In the night. Dead people don't cry, Mickey. I heard her. Heard her? Mickey. 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 Be night soon. Oh, Jenny, Jenny. I'm sorry. Darling, you've got to believe. It will not happen again, ever. You're going to be able to catch a plane tonight? When we get into town, I will call Mr. Maurer. He'll arrange a midnight plane. But there'd be more time. Time for so many wonderful things. It's going to be all right. Leaving, Mickey. I'd like to say goodbye. I'd like to leave as your friend, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> 